soon as you can make it. I'm here waiting for you. We're good, man. Right?
это?
Activity among the PKs. If you ask me, a war is brewing. So, did you hear about Elias? Disappeared without a trace two years ago, and suddenly shows up. Your brain's on overload. Uh, calm. Hey. So, do you know Matt's deal yet? Yeah, pretty much. Although Steve could barely remember his name. Jack's plan is simple. He wants to use the transport to get his men inside the stronghold. Just as I thought. He plans to take the dam before Williams can shut the floodgates and drown the city. All right, so what's your plan? There are people in the Peacekeepers who think logically. And they know that to take the stronghold, Matt's willing to drag us all to the grave. We'll present the evidence about what Matt is doing now. And what he did 11 years ago, when he killed half the city. Wait, what are you trying to say? Matt's not a psychopath. Matt is far worse than a psychopath, Aiden. He's dangerously ambitious. Before the fall, he climbed the ranks of the military hierarchy with lightning speed. Until he ran into Williams. He made sure Matt never got another promotion. Cock blocked him from the chain of command. Until finally... The order came to rain chemicals onto the city. That's when the shit really hit the fan. What's your plan? I've tracked down one of the renegade officers. One who knows the truth. The truth? He was in Matt's squad that day. He saw Matt receive the order to evacuate. We need to get him to testify during the trial. He's a renegade, Juan. No one on that ship will listen to him. We have to try. The more witnesses and accounts we have, the more likely that people will put two and two together. Unless Jack has us hanged first. Relax. If I play it right and accuse him publicly, he wouldn't dare touch me. And I won't let him touch you. But I need you to meet that renegade. I have to stay put so Matt doesn't get suspicious. Find the guy and bring him in. I'll prepare to trigger a mutiny. Jack likes law and order. Let's give him a highly public trial and have him hang for his crimes. You got a problem? <laughs> yeah, but uh, too dangerous to pull anyone else into. Come on, just out with it already. Okay. Have a seat. My name's Paul.
Hello? The one in the church is empty. Hey then? Long time no see. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Where is everyone? Renegades were supposed to be here. Along with the officer you came to kill. Lucky bastard. Apparently Williams ordered evacuations of some outposts. Well, apparently? Well, who sent you here then? Waltz? Waltz isn't privy to William's directives. You're asking too many questions, Aiden. I will be hell to pay if you keep it up. Eh, yeah, fuck you, Hakon. I'm not here because of you. You're still on Waltz's leash, I see. Enough chit-chat, Aiden. Give me the key. <laughs> what? 
The GRE key, Aiden. Give it to me. Try taking it from me, Hakon. I'll do my best. Promise. Get that key from him! <laughs> Bad kiddo. You've made quite a name for yourself in this shit hole.
Is that what you wanted? Are you really ready to kill me for that key, Hakon? Well, so many people have died already. You can't stop the wheel from turning now. But well, you had a chance to kill me. To take it from me at the bazaar. What changed? Well, what do you think, kid? You promised to get me out of the city. We had a deal. But then you ratted me out. And you think Waltz will just let you go, just like that? You know what he did to Dylan. To... to all the others. Yeah, but they all stood in his way. Dylan betrayed him. Lucas wouldn't give up the key. So? So you murdered him! The key is my pass out of the city. <sighs> Real fucking shame I have to kill you. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Hakon! You can't get away! Maybe. But you don't want to see me. I ain't as pretty as before. We've both seen your biomarker. You're not gonna find me in time!
Betrayed, Hakon. Killian, Frank, Luan. Why did you betray her? Frank told you about the TV station. Told you I chickened out, right? Well, he's wrong about that. It was a suicide mission. And Luan, why did you leave her? What? How do you know about that? <laughs> Just answer the question. I made a deal with the devil. And she had her own hell to deal with. What are you talking about? I left to protect her. If I'd stayed, Walt would have had her killed. So why did you work with him? Why did you betray Frank? I, I didn't! I didn't betray Frank. I was trying to fix things. After the TV station, I was planning to spy on Waltz, but he got suspicious, threatened to kill Lawan. And now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Renegade officers. They're gone. Apparently they got an order to pull out. How do you know about this? From Hakon, an old friend who worked with the Renegades. But he's dead. All right. Find Veronica Ryan, Aiden. I'll prepare the trial Matt deserves. Peacekeeper officers are already rebelling against an attack on the dam. The revolution starts, Aiden. Thanks to you.
I'm taking that key, Aiden. Stop, Hakon. You're in no condition to fight. We'll soon find out, won't we? Hakon, talk to me. This doesn't make sense. What's really going on here? Frank told me how you broke with the Night Runners. Every day since, I've wondered. Would things have ended differently if I'd been there? Would my friends be alive? I know I can't bring anyone back, but I did make a vow. I'd prove myself to Frank and Lawan. I don't want to fight you anymore, Hakon. Neither do I, kid. Neither do I. I mean, I'm so tired. So fucking tired. It's quite a trip, huh? <clears throat> I was worried that I'd have to learn surfing on my own. Thanks for softening them up for me. Oh, it's my ray of sunshine with a lethal crossbow. Shut the fuck up. A good thing you didn't finish me off, Aiden, or she would have been pissed. What? How did you f have my own connections? Try to stop me, and we're no longer friends, Aiden. Killing Hakon won't help you, Luan. <laughs> what the fuck do you know? Luan, he said he wanted to protect you. <laughs> what is he talking about, asshole? He said he joined Waltz because he wanted to spy on him. Aiden, shut up. But he had to stop because Waltz threatened to hurt you. <laughs> Bullshit. I know you. Stop bullshitting me! Luan! Are you okay? Huh. I can't believe I blew my chance. Again! Maybe your list isn't all that it's cracked up to be. Fuck you, Aiden. I had him. And I let him get away. Are you sure you're okay? I mean, he hit you pretty hard. I... <laughs> Barely touched me. Don't I keep telling you not to worry? Okay, but, but I... I need some time to sort myself out. Wait, the one... Wait. Juan? Where you been, kid? I've been worried. I'm going to see Veronica now. Long story short, Hakon wasn't quite as dead as I thought when we last spoke. <sighs> you okay? I'm fine. Listen, I've been having some conversations. Seems I'll have to call witnesses to Jack's war crimes. I'll be there for the trial. Go! See Veronica. I'll let you know I'm ready.
Kyra, I'm near the GRE lab. Pilgrim, you better wait until night time. It's probably swarming with infected during the day. Where do I look for the bodies? You'll learn everything from the recording. I can't listen to it. Over and out. Little Ron the bait. The exit downstairs is jammed, so we're gonna try and find a way out at the top. Sierra and I found Private Kitty in the lobby on the lowest level. Oh, oh, what's that stink? Kitty, did you just fart? Is that how happy you are to see us? What? No, I didn't. <laughs> we missed you, punk. Did you hear that? We better get our asses out of here. Admit it, Sierra. You're the one who farted and tried to blame me. Did you? What the fuck was that? I don't care! To the stairs! Mate, there's a swarm of fighters chasing us. We lost Kitty in the lobby. Run! I'm on the second floor! No one down. What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Have you found any dog tags yet? 
I've been running around a little, but here it is. Marta's dog tag. Thank you on behalf of her husband. You deserve something. Do you have the other dog tags? I'm still looking. Hey, Kyra. I'm still looking. To enlist citizen, PK. Good job shopping here, citizen. I'm always in the market for these. I'm stoked to have one of these. You rock, citizen. I was fresh out. Awesome. Where'd you get this? Fantastic. Remember, PK quality is always waiting for you. It worked. It worked. Uh.
You had a feeling we'd cross paths sooner or later. You patched up Barney, right? He whimpered like a baby as soon as he saw the needle. And those renegades, why are they after you? Probably the same reason as you to access the GRE database. What do you want from it, Aiden? Why are you risking so much? I'm looking for my sister. Your sister was in the GRE? She... No, she was a prisoner. I haven't seen her in 15 years. A prisoner? You mean a test subject? I don't know what I'll find. She's... She's the only family I've got. The only answer to what Waltz has done to us. Waltz? He held us there. Had a hobby of experimenting on kids. Did you know about that? I was only a mid-level doctor, Aiden. I'm sorry. Want to know anything else? Or can we go? How are you planning to get us inside the observatory? Look, there's a security tunnel into the complex. It was locked up years ago. Give me the key, Aiden. Are you sure the key is functional? It has been. Maybe the problem is that the building has no electricity. Is there any other way to get in there? It depends how much we're prepared to risk. A lot, if you ask me. Okay. Then come with me. I have something to show you. See those domes? Sure, but the place is flooded with chemicals. The GRE had a solution for that. When they created the THV Gen Mod, they had to protect their employees from exposure. But the THV what? The chemicals. They came up with blockers. Shots that would shield their workers for a few minutes from the fumes. Fortunately, I still have two doses. Had a feeling they'd come in handy one day. Oh, those must be worth a pretty penny. They are extremely rare. For now, we will need only one for you. Wait, you're not coming? No, I, I will join you, but first, I'd like you to restore the power to the building. You see, I have panic attacks when I'm in tight spaces or in the dark. <laughs> now, you probably think I'm a coward. Not at all. I think it took guts to come here. So let's do this. When you get there, first restore the power. Then I'll be able to join you. Hold out your arm. Remember, the shot shields you from the chemicals for a limited time only. Can't I take the other one too? No, not at the same time. This stuff's too strong. Go as fast as you can to the smaller dome, and from there to the higher one. You should find a door leading inside. There. You'll be safe. Then head to the B block. There you should find the building's main circuit breaker. As soon as you turn on the electricity, the security door will unlock, and I can join you by going through the tunnel I showed you. Now go. The blocker is working. Aiden. That blocker won't protect you forever. The blocker is working. <coughs> Warning, main power switch. 
circuit malfunctioning. Block B. Emergency protocol initiated. Veronica, I made it through the chemicals to the first dome. Great. Now just get to the second one. Find a door, a hatch, or whatever leads underground. Right. Veronica, found the entrance. So far, so good. But how do you know this place so well, by the way? I was here just once, long ago. But I have a good memory. That sounds useful. Well, sometimes it's a curse. Really. Veronica, I have a horde of infected here. Shit. I hoped it would be empty by now. Well, it isn't. I don't know if I could get through. Use the UV flashlight on your belt. That should keep them at bay. Just don't stop, Aiden.
Veronica, I made it. The electricity's on. Great. The security tunnel is open. I'll try to take the elevator down to you. This place was quite the hive. Plenty of infected. But I got rid of them. They were people too, Aiden. They deserve respect. Aiden? What? What's going on? The elevator! It stopped! I see. I think it blew a fuse. Check it. Do something. Quick! Please! Don't worry. I'll fix it. Please, don't leave me here. Don't be afraid. I just need a moment. Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Sitting on my hands here, Veronica. Try to breathe. Slowly. Uh, oh. Don't leave me! Just don't leave me here! Shouting won't do anything except attract infected. Yeah, calm down. I won't leave you. You all right? Veronica, I'll meet you by the elevators. Everything would work out. Just get in. You always been claustrophobic? Seriously? For over ten years. So what happened then? Aiden, for God's sake! Can we not talk about this right now? Uh, the database. Where is it? Just give me a moment. Below us. Even farther than this? Another six floors down. Great. 
dark again. Wait, I'll try and figure something out. If we have electricity here, we could use it to power up the whole floor. We need to open these doors somehow. Maybe from the other side. It's a tight fit in here. Veronica, how are you holding up? Just want to get to that database and get out of here. You're doing great. Just talk to me. Why are you really helping me? You're taking quite a risk. I promised I'd help you, right? Okay, I get it. Just hold tight. I'll get there as fast as I can. Thanks.
Smart move. Rerouting the circuit. Yeah. Saved my life a few times. Veronica? Should we get going? Yes. Let's get this over with and then get out of here. This way. The main computer is there. You'll finally know what happened to your sister. She's all I have. What about your parents? I don't remember them. Just her. We... We were a good team. Without her, it's like, uh... God, I don't know. You don't know what? Well... I don't really know who I am. We're all different people than we were 15 years ago. We all got... lost. It's here. It's locked again. <sighs> what now? The terminal is inactive. The security system isolated this area. Uh, I guess I'm up. I've got an idea. Try to find the officer's room. There's a security desk. We could try to operate the door locks from there. You should be able to use your GRE key on it. You sure know a lot about this building. Please, just insert the key and select emergency unlock on the screen. I'll explain everything to you when we're done.
but we may have another problem. I'm stuck here. I need to find a way out. Can I help you somehow? I don't think so. Just stay where you are. Dr. Veronica Ryan, Director, Field Laboratories Department. A mid-level GRE doctor, my ass. Seems to be Veronica's office. You weren't honest with me, Veronica. Who's that boy? Maybe her son? Aiden. A funny thing. Seems there was another Veronica Ryan. Director, Field Labs Department. I was going to tell you. Why are you helping me? Are you working with Waltz? Waltz? No, never. Even back then, I didn't. Waltz had his own research team. But you knew about the experiments, how they used kids. <laughs> me and my sister. That's why I'm here, Aiden. I... I cannot forget what we did here. That we let you down. All those kids in pain and no cure to show for it. Cure? We were five for fuck's sake. Small children showed natural immunity to the virus. We saw a correlation between age, brain development, and infection severity. That's why they were experimenting on you. The GRE, the world, needed you. You seemed our only hope. I'm sorry. So, were you involved in those experiments? No. The tests on children were all performed at a laboratory. Here we were gathering data and compiling research. 
I was here when it all happened. Team members began to turn, and things quickly spiraled out of control, one by one. We were locked inside, hiding, sneaking around through those dark corridors and ventilation shafts. My son, he was here with me. Paul, he was five back then too. What happened to him? I managed to find the shaft leading to the main entrance. I told Paul to wait for me. I kissed him, and I told him to wait until I made sure the entrance was safe. He clung to me, didn't want to let me go. When I came back for him, he was gone. I was only away for 15 minutes. I spent the next week looking for him. And then the rest of my life crying. I should have known. He was a kid. Scared. Alone. I'm sorry. You were trying to take him out of here. How could you know? Anyway. We all have our own stories of the past. Let's concentrate on what happens next. Okay. Let's go. you find what you've been looking for. All the GRE's data is in there, Aiden. What's up? Damn it, I don't know. We'll try it again. It's stuck. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll go. No, wait. <clears throat> I'm done waiting. It's time for answers. Are you okay? It looks like we tripped an alarm. Decontamination procedure. Decontamination procedure? That can't be good. It's not. Chemical decontamination is deadly. But how do we stop it? I don't know. Veronica? Veronica! Remain calm. Veronica? I can't stop it. Do something! Think faster. Blockers. I still have one. You have to find one for yourself. Uh, any idea where to look? The control room. Maybe they kept some there. Go. Find the control room.
Fucking no! Fucking no! No! Found one. That's it. Alright, now comes the fun part. I think we're safe now. Well, that's good to hear. Ready to plug in? Are you serious? Yeah, do it. Cross your fingers, Aiden. The moment of truth. Damn, it's broken. Oh no, you shitting me? Yeah, I am. It's just an old system. Wait, give me the key. Authorization granted. There is a list of patients and personnel. Who do you want to check first? Search for Mia. Is that your sister? Yes. Nothing. Impossible. She was there, with me. <sighs> I'm searching. Sorry, Aiden. Records show no patients named Mia. God! It's impossible. I will check my name, Aiden. Aiden. Uh, there's one record among the youngest children. Year 2020. Aiden Caldwell? Is that your surname? Well, it is now. What does it say? Data classified. Only one note. Warning. Patient shows an above-average tolerance to the substance. 
Most tests performed. Exemplary results. I think so. Is there anything else? No. That's all. Walt. Checking. One record. Clinical studies. Substance 1354. Study abandoned. All patients discharged from the center. Look through all the names. Uh, patient discharged. All of them? Yes. Damn it. No info on where they ended up. Or about this substance. Uh, 1354 or something? I'm sorry, Aiden. There's more. The substance was also tested on some infected at GRE facilities across the city. To no avail. The project was run and supervised from X-13. It was eventually shut down, as was X-13 itself. Is there anything more about this X-13? In here? I doubt it. But I heard about it. X-13 was a hub of GRE operations. And the substance, you know what it is? There were so many tests and clinical studies, Aiden. Let me search the database for the research data. Something's wrong. What do you mean? It says a procedure's been initiated. Another procedure? I'm looking... Lots of data. Started, then paused... 11 years ago. Resumed a few days ago, in X-10. There's also a map. <laughs> Several locations are marked, including the observatory. What the hell does it all mean? I have no idea. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Infected? They must be here somewhere. Oh, the renegades. They must have followed us. There's no time. Hurry, take the key, hide yourself somewhere, and lock yourself in. I'll deal with them. Aiden, we don't know how many there are. I'll handle it. You all right? Yes, but I have bad news. These locations on the GRE system, they appear to be targets. Targets for missile strikes. Missile strikes? What are you talking about? The fail-safe protocol. We don't have much time. 
Listen, this marks Riverend and Garrison. That's in the central loop. People live there. You have to warn Frank. Okay. Okay, I will. If Frank... Frank, your neighborhood is marked on some tactical map. You have to tell people to evacuate. What? No time to explain. Just clear everyone out of there, Frank. How can I warn them? I got no way to send out an emergency broadcast. I'll try to reach as many as possible. God, shit. Open the fuck up! Just wait here. I'll try to get through to them from above and take them out. You're safe here. <sighs> Oh yeah? You want an autograph? Veronica, I think it's safe now, but we have to get going. Veronica?
Monica, you there? Veronica, talk to me. I had to get out, Aiden. I'm sorry. I felt trapped in there. Okay, where are you? I headed towards the elevators. I... Veronica? What's happening? Someone's here, Aiden. Oh, no. No, no, no! Veronica! She was here. That's her radio. Find her. You heard the lie. Veronica? Hold on. <laughs> Veronica, talk to me. Hang on, Veronica. I'm coming. Veronica, get away! Give fucking key! Give it to me! Just run, I'll stop him. Why do you need this key, fucker? What have you done with me? Uh... with my sister. She's long gone. No. I'll kill you! Give me the fucking key. What have you done with my sister? She's long gone. No. I'll kill you! I'll crush you, man! <laughs> Died years ago. Aiden, 
Hold on. You'll be okay. Just hold on. It's okay, Aiden. It's okay. No! Fuck, Aiden, you're heavy. Almost there. Just hold on. Hold on. Oh, you're back. Thank God. You really gotta stop doing that. You had me worried, and I don't get worried. Keep away from me, Luan. <coughs> wow. I mean, it's not like I expected flowers. But for digging you out from under the rubble and carrying you here on my back, a small thank you would be nice. You don't understand, Luan. I... You what? I, um... I killed Veronica. What? I killed her. And not only that, I'm turning... I saw Veronica's body. It was torn as if by a volatile. You couldn't. It was me. <clears throat> Walter's experiments. Back then in the hospital, there was nothing in the GRE database about me. But about the drug Walter was giving us, it had the greatest effect on me. Waltz told me that Mia's dead. I have to get away from here. I'm a threat if I stay to... Not to everyone. What if he lied to you? And Mia's alive. And even if not, you didn't kill Veronica Aiden. That wasn't you. I repeat, that was not you. If this transformation is because of Waltz, then we're going to make him fix it. Got it? I'll help you. How? Walt created the inhibitors. He must know how to counter their effects. What was that? Come on. Probably another building collapse. Oh my god. <clears throat> the Butcher. He's finishing what he started 11 years ago. It's Walt. He used the key. That's when this all started. What are you talking about? Dylan didn't want Walt getting the GRE key. He knew the whole city would be at risk. And Walt took the key from Veronica and escaped. Apparently he needs it for something else. Do you see now? You have to stop him. Him and Williams. 
no matter what. Juan, I can't control when I turn. Any moment now, I can... When you feel something happening, just get to a UV light. I can't stop them alone, Aiden. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get him. Now you're talking like the Aiden I know. Juan is looking for you. He wanted me to tell you that he's at Rose Old Outpost. He's not at the ship? Apparently not. His voice was shaking. He said he had info for you about Williams. Maybe you'll learn something new. I... I have to go to the fisheye. Check in on the wounded. And Frank. He went out to warn people before the missiles hit. They say he got hurt pretty bad. Aiden? Nobody can know about Veronica. Remember. I know it wasn't you who did that. But Jack? The peacekeepers? They won't give a shit. They can't stop us. They won't. 